Hello and welcome to this look at the bio greenhouses, a new mod that has come out on ModHub, although I do believe it has been available for some time um, through other means directly from Cookie Cat, the author. As per usual, just giving you a bit of time to go through the actual write-up by the modder. And yeah, so basically it works on the greenhouse principle as such and um, I have found that if you're using some of the other greenhouse um, mods that of course it does create some sort of mod conflict but that's to be expected. In any case, so let's get on with it and have a look. As per usual the basic greenhouses are found in production greenhouses and you'll see a fairly good selection of greenhouses in different formats so you've got just plain open gardens as such then you've got roll down which I'm starting with now the roll down polytents I suppose you would call them and although I didn't test it in this one, I'm going to presume in the cold weather that the the tarpaulins will fold over, because we have seen that in other mods. And there are three sizes, small, medium, large. Then we go through to the more traditional greenhouses so all of the greenhouses need manure water and um, fertilizer which is fairly standard for modded greenhouses the difference with these greenhouses is that they don't um, they don't spawn product on pallets so you collect them by filling up trailers and then as you'll see we take them through to a washing facility where they get washed and put onto pallets you can sell them directly from the trailers as well but the um, as you'll see as we go along the price that you get for the for the product once it's been washed is fantastic compared to just the basic product and these are the I suppose you'd call them the open gardens also three sizes the input and output triggers are basically the same spot which is nice and convenient and in the front of the of the greenhouses as you can see from the interactive markers so there we go uh, basically nine different greenhouses and then we also have let's just have a quick look around them just have a run through and have a look from ground level how they look well modded the looks the look of the of the greenhouses is fairly standard but that's pretty much where the standard operation ends on these greenhouses because there's quite a few new products there's raspberries there's um, blueberries peas, beans plus of course the tomatoes and strawberries and lettuce it's also potatoes as well I think I've got them all there but we'll go through those as we go through the mods so that's the washing facility 
Right, let's just have a look and see. So we do potatoes, onions is the one I forgot there, lettuce, tomatoes, peas, beans, strawberries, blueberries and raspberries. So a very good selection of product that can be produced from there. It also does have its own selling station, which is basically a crate that you can put in front of any type of building. As I did mention, the inputs are at the front of each greenhouse. Just pumping some water just to show you where they are. And then I'll fill up the rest of the, of the greenhouses off camera. Otherwise, filling nine greenhouses will take some time. But, you know, we're just here to show you the basic workings. Right, so the small productions take 25,000 litres. The medium production takes 50,000 litres of each product. There you go, 50,000 litres of each product. We'll get onions going in this one. So we'll get different crops going in different. So that's a new texture. We haven't seen that one before. And then this one we'll do lettuce, which is pretty standard production. And that's the big. And that takes 100,000 litres of each. Manure seeds. Did I say um, fertiliser earlier? It's manure seeds and water. Well, yeah, we'll get some different product going in each of these quickly. Tomatoes in this one. The textures are pretty good. They do look nice. Peas. That's also a product that I don't think we've seen in the greenhouses. Of course that's coming in FS25 peas. And what shall we put into this one? Beans. Fantastic, looks good. We'll put some of the berries into here. One of the berries. Put blueberries in this one. And the last one, the big one, we'll put raspberries in. And that'll give us pretty much one of each of the of the crops. So I think that's the strawberries. Slightly different texture if I'm not mistaken to normal. Onions. Looks good. Really does look good. And the potatoes. So we do have a specialized selling point. Which is basically just a crate. It's got to go back a little bit. There it is. There. I keep on missing it. That's it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so just a great. I'll just put a building behind it to uh, to make it look well. Just to make it look nice. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Let's get the productions going. run through to have a look at how they all look so they do change slightly as they as we go through through time as such what we'll do is we'll just speed it up 
and we now basically the next day and it was pretty much full capacity so um, it wasn't a full 24 hours so what we'll do is we'll fill up a trailer of each of them so this is the raspberries and the next one we'll do is the blueberry uh, blueberries yeah <laughs> So of course the each size will produce uh, different amounts over the same period, but even the small one has produced at least eight thousand liters. So could load off the manure, but we won't do that. The beans are just over twelve thousand liters over the, as I said, not a full. 24 hour period but yeah pretty pretty good pretty quick production got some peas there so it's nearly 50,000 I would say it's probably about 18 hours that it was somewhere around there 18 maybe maybe 20 hours to get these sort of quite uh, um, quantities so nearly 25,000 in the in the medium size and just under 10,000 in the small so over that sort of period so yeah pretty good production it gets the lettuce I think this was potatoes, yeah. Yeah, so each size produces pretty much, at the, so the small, medium and large pr pretty much produce at the same rate, regardless of the type of, of facility. Might be slight variations, but of course the size of the facility does have a dramatic f effect on how much is produced. There we go, strawberries I think that was. Let's have a quick look at them, potatoes, onions, strawberries. It's lettuce. Tomatoes. I think those were peas, weren't they? Beans. Blueberries. And raspberries. All a full trailer load, and we'll get those all into the washing facility now. Which is. Uh, Yeah, pretty standard. Looks good, looks nice and uh, farmy, the building. Just quickly run through putting each product in. And then once we've completed that, we'll uh, We'll get the system a washing. Yeah, so there's no major surprises in the operation of the of the mod. It's basically the different products is the main the main difference. And the speed of production is pretty good. It was pretty effective, very impressed with that. We'll be using these somewhere along the line. I would like to have used this on my um, my eco series but um, I already have a greenhouse system on there and I have tried it um, on there to see if it would work but it does create a mod conflict so which is to be expected. So we'll stick with what we've got there. Well maybe 
we will uh, we'll change our greenhouses. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Who knows? We we have changed some other things on there, but I digress. We looking at this. Yeah, so pretty much eight thousand in each, and I've noticed that you can also do wash grapes in here. I did go back and have a look to see if there was a specific grape greenhouse, but there isn't. It's just an extra product that you can wash in this facility. Right, so let's get that speeded up. And they produced quite quickly. So I think we started a bit just after 9 in the morning and the full 8,000 was pretty much fully utilized by Oh, I suppose where we now 12 o'clock let's have a look and see if we if there's any more coming out I think there's probably still a little bit more to come out yes yeah, so materials all missing we're looking at just after one o'clock say from nine o'clock so very quick production from the washing side So pretty standard in terms of the of the um, of how much you get in terms of washing. Not quite what we then came out, but not far off. Just deliver it there and we're getting pretty much well I'd say between 1200 and 1400 per per thousand liters as opposed to about oh, I'd say three to four hundred for the absolute raw material of course we are losing a little bit of product in the washing process but it's still worth it at the end of the day of course some of the more traditional product that comes out of here potatoes and tomatoes and such you could sell it different sell selling points but I'm not so sure about the onions, raspberries, I haven't checked them to see whether they would go through say the normal selling grade or sell all product so, let's have a look, the boxing looks very nice and tidy all in all a pretty good a pretty good mod quite quite impressed with it well, I do hope you've been, enjoyed this and found it informative if you have, please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.